guys, it's Bobby Joe, and uh, you're going to be the people in the cabinet again today, as usual. You guys kind of like it in there now, I hope. So this one is just kind of going to be kind of like a medication overview, and I also forgot in my last video um, that Justin and I had to have an infectious disease test um, that day, and also like an STD test. Uh, so that was $900. So there's that. And also... The first appointment isn't included in your um, IVF payment, and so that was $300 to just have that consultation. And um, so I had to order medicine twice because my clinic doesn't order everything at one time. I'm trying to kind of talk fast, so sorry if I'm out of breath. I've already done this twice, and I'm babysitting my mom's dogs, and they just keep barking. So if they bark during this video, I'm so sorry, but I just have got to, to get this done and I really want to do this video because um, it's hard it's hard to find out this kind of stuff unless you're going through it uh, so my first payment uh, for medication was two thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars and ninety three cents and uh, that entails um, a lot of stuff so just let me kind of like read to you uh, Minipure for nine vials. This isn't boxes, this is just the vials. Was $675.91. Uh, the next thing, like I didn't use any of like the Ganarellix or the Albedril. I didn't make it that far. Next is Brevel. That is $1,060.19 for 18 vials of that. That Brevel really gets you. I think it's um, laced with gold. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it has to be, right? Uh, we don't have insurance, so all of this is, is self-pay. Um, the Anorelics, I got two of them, uh, $500 for two, uh, 250 MCG is what it says. Um, I don't know what this is, is, like, maybe, like, Lupron or something for 129 L E U P R O L I. DE injection. Uh, this is a Valium for $5. You take this before you go in for your transfer. Um, my clinic gives Vicodin for after the clinic, and that's uh, they got $20 uh, for $16. The Sharpies container is free. Uh, the syringe is $4, and the needles are $4. The Q caps um, must be free because I don't see them on here, and then uh, Alvadrill is $79.50. And then I also had a second um, order, and that was for $1,611.98. And it was for 12 more Brevel. Um, I was on 2 to 1, so 2 Brevel, 1 Minipure. This time I'm going to be on... Um, this time I'm going to be on 3 and 3. So then I ordered 12 more Minipure for $887.88. And I think that was it for this order. Oh, I had to order more syringes, which was uh, $5. Different price than the first time. Guess I didn't have as many syringes that I needed, perhaps. And um, I'm trying to see if there's anything on this last page. I don't want to miss anything. And then, like I did on the first one, needles another five dollars all right so that is that and uh let's see so let me just show you what this stuff kind of looks like where did i put it okay it's back here so i got these like huge bags of stuff left over from my first cycle not of medicine just of q caps and things like that so this is a q cap and this is um this is how you like um, get your medication. So this is a Q-cap. And they just look like this. And then they give you so much sodium chloride. I don't know why. You get so much. I don't I don't really understand it at all. So this is kind of broken down because I wanted to take them out of the boxes because it takes up so much space. Um, but this is how they come. Like this. This is a sodium chloride, and then you just kind of pop this off when you're ready for your injection. This is what a Minipure looks like, and it's just powder. 
So when you mix it, it turns into liquid with the sodium chloride and you just do one milligram of that, of the sodium chloride. This is Brevel. They come in big, huge things like this. This is Brevel. And it's also powder. You just click this off whenever you're ready to use it. But you don't want to unseal them until it's time. So that's what it looks like. I will be doing videos too when it's time to do the injections. And then this is the syringe, of course. And then I think I might be out of needles. I have so much stuff. I mean, bag after bag. Some of that stuff just fell out after bag. And after bag. So, I mean, like most of this is like sodium chloride. And I just don't want to turn it around. I want to be cautious about what I'm doing because it has my um, address on it because they are. There's, there's a baby Ben and Pierre. I need that. That's a lot of money. So let me put this down. Um, so that's easy. Um, it's just expensive. It really sucks that we don't have insurance. <coughs> but we live in Indiana and so maybe that wouldn't even be an option for us anyways um, to do that. I'm just going to throw my hair up really quick while I'm in here. So, Indiana isn't a mandated state to pay for IVF. Anyways, so let me get my people out the cabinet. Um, I think I covered everything um, as far as medication goes and how much that it cost. It is so expensive. I don't think people realize how much um, people go through and then uh, also paying out of pocket. This happens to almost everyone I know. I'm thankful that my eggs can be used and that Justin has um, quality a sperm that we can use because that just is a whole nother thing in itself. All right, so I'm gonna go. I have to go to the grocery as usual. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. And if you have any other questions about medication or anything maybe that I can answer, go ahead and ask and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.